Hey guys, it's Markeisha with Mark Chat, and today we're gonna do a plan with me and my Hobonichi cousin. And so let's get started. I'm gonna use this sweet kawaii design, it's called Tropical Christmas, and it is really cute. I got this because living in Texas, like literally the weather goes up and down. I mean, you're gonna see when I write the weather out at the bottom that one of the highest highs is like 82. <laughs> it is December. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, and I think living here the majority of my life, um, born and raised here, it's just like you get used to it. I thought this kit was so cute and literally it was super cold outside when I ordered this kit and I was like, oh, I wonder, look at this little crab, so cute with the candy cane. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to use this kit because it's gonna be cold. And here we are, it is hot outside. Literally could wear some shorts in the middle of December and that is just the way it is. Like literally, I don't know what's up with that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this number five down because a lot of times I will um, mess up on the numbers. And so I wanna go ahead and put this down just to make sure that I have this correct and that I'm not messing up here because I would really hate to go through another week looking at the calendar like, oh yeah, and then we're doing this on this date and this on this. And it's like, no, that's not the right date. And I'm like, oops, totally messed up. Especially, um, I have those issues with the months that's like the 30th and the 31st and um, going through the week. And, you know, when it goes from 30 to the, like, we're on the first of the month. And I'm like, still trying to put that 31 down. Um, that happens to me a lot when I'm doing my spreads. I'm actually filming this on Sunday. How's your Sunday going? And I'm filming this at the end of the day. You'll see um, I'm uploading this late because I am not used to filming a video and posting every day. Bless the people who are able to literally post videos every day. I mean, there'll be moms that's doing this and I'm just like, and I have one child. There are people who post videos daily who have multiple children, who have businesses. I mean, I work, you know, but you know, work full time and stuff like that. But um, owning a business is a whole nother animal. And I mean, you know, doing a bunch of advertisements and things like that. It's just, it seems to be, I'm like, wow how do y'all do it now i love the way that these stickers are laid out and made um let me see which one do i want to put up first because i want to put one of these things it's let us know somewhere else <laughs> which is funny or baby it's warm outside which one am i feeling Probably baby is warm outside because, oh, he knows if you've been crabby or nice. That is cute too. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm gonna put baby is warm outside. This is cute too with this little coconut and homie is literally in a <laughs> two piece. That's funny. Um, now I just can't decide because all of them are so cute. Like literally do not know which one I wanna put up. Now I kinda wanna put homie up at the top. Let me put him up here with his bathing suit on. That is hilarious to me. Put this down, put that at the top, and then a sticker that I always forget to put, but I'm gonna try to remember to put is this week. And then um, I'm just gonna kind of layer it a little bit and not think too much about it because if I do, then I'm gonna be ripping up stuff over and over again. And I didn't put my body bottom washi down, but that's okay. Um, I do wanna do this because I am doing planless or, or trying to anyways on the struggle bus a little bit. Um, but just so I can write down the things I'm gonna put, on, put out throughout the week, even though I do put like the post things, what ends up going there is like the actual um, posts. I'm gonna go ahead and put these, wash this washi down so I can know how far down I can go or else I will be putting this down and making a big oops. 
And that's not what I want to do because it fits perfectly at the bottom and I don't want to mess that flow up. I wonder if I want to do like, put this blue. No, nah, I'm just going to start at pink and it's going to be all right. Thought about it and now against it because it's not that big of a deal. I've thought about um, every once in a while changing up the way I do the layout um, so that may be something I do in the future. A lot of the things I do is pretty, like, it's kind of the same. I want to put this one here and I'm going to put it kind of overlapping here, which is going to take up some stuff that is cricket, but that's okay. Take up stuff that I do there, but that's okay. And let's see. Hmm. I guess this is going to be, let's see. These are cute. I got like, these are huge in comparison to these. And that's, that's interesting to me because I usually do like the stickers on every day, which I'm probably gonna have to use the smaller ones. So, and the way I put it down is the first one I do is to buy. And there's this like grocery list there. It's almost like she is like, hey, let me put a little bag there. Why not make it functional? Um, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's like seven perfectly. But this dollar bill, hmm, I don't know how I'm gonna put that. I start this off between 16 and 18 and kind of go all the way down. And on this one, I put to um, buy, and then I do cleaning, which maybe I need a cocktail for or something. No, I'm kidding. So I'm just gonna put this one there. And then, um, let's see, what else do I put down? Uh, lunches, is there anything? It was candy cane, I guess. Oh, I didn't see these little flowers. That's another thing that I can put down versus the grocery bag, but that's cool. Um, and then let's see, posts I can put, maybe I'll put this little sand castle, which is so cute. 16 or 18. And then orders, maybe that's where I can put this dollar bill. Cause I do have some um, Amazon orders that's coming in. And then, um, let's see see this little food show one and then read I guess I will do a little umbrella let's see put that there okay and then um I can put this little weekend banner here now I'm kind of jumping around and I hope y'all can see this stuff I'm trying to move it around so you can see a lot of the um stuff and I am just going to put it down not really measuring it completely and then I think I'm gonna do let's see hmm maybe I'll do one of these I really love the crab because it's funny to me do this little crab and then I'm gonna do one of these um, this is kind of big for there, but not really. Hmm. Don't want to do this. This, this, and this is the same. So these are two more critters and then he's there. So we're going to put you there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Sorry. I cut y'all all the way off. Um, I'm just going to put that there. And I know it went over the washi, but I'm not concerned. And Freebie Friday here. $2 Tuesday, which I always miss, but want to do. I'll put it here and see if I will remember. If not, then life goes on. And day off, putting it on this Thursday, which is an odd thing, but it's important to remember. So I will be tidying up on Freebie Friday. Now, <laughs> basically, or else my whole thing is going to be thrown off. Um, and then, let's see here, um, what do I want to do? 
I'll take the time and do some of the weather things while I'm thinking about exactly how I want to do it because I do have some things and I just kind of wrote out things on a paper here. Here, I can go ahead and put my little headers here too. To buy, um, cleaning. And I, I like to do um, setups as like don't think about it too much because if if I do, I'm just gonna spend way too much time on, um, you know, like putting all this together. And it, it should not take that long to just set it up, you know? Um, because the real planning is kind of day by day or whenever something happens, like, okay, on Thursday we're gonna do this and then you just jot it down. That type of thing is what I vibe with. Um, not necessarily, um, now I'll put this remember thing here because it is payday. Um, and I will just put one of these little boxes here, put that down, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I think, uh, let's see. I'm filling this little check mark box next to it. I was going to put it below, but I was like, I don't know about that. And then I'm just going to go down the whole little thing and kind of put some stuff down. I don't know what's going on on Tuesday. Um, I think I need to plan a little bit deeper um, to accomplish some of the things that I've been missing. Um, I'm just going to write payday. And then let's see, this green one here, which I'm loving the varying of the colors. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna put the funny one that says, let it snow somewhere else here, which I mean, if it snows this year, I mean, what? <laughs> but the weather has been really weird. So I would not put that past this year. Like, I mean, we've had like winter storms and all kind of stuff going on, so. I don't even know. It's like so sad. You don't even know how to prepare for stuff like that because it is so hot outside right now. Okay, so going to Monday with the weather. All right, let me push this up. It is, um, and I just do it at the bottom. 64, 79, 68, 80, um, 68, 82. And then here's the weird one, 68, 81 with a 40% chance of rain, um, 63, 76. And then I'm just gonna go up here with 63, 79, with that 30% chance of rain, which is weird. Um, and then all the way dropping to 59 with 71 being the high with a 60% chance of rain, which is so random. Um, so that's the weather and then I do have a bill due on Thursday. So, let's see, I could just write it. At first I was gonna put like a box, but whatever. Um, so I'll put triple A due. Um, and then there's nothing going on on Friday that I know of, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, there is something going on. I have to look that up. But I think, is that it? Let me put some more of these checklists down. Just gonna put this here. Let's see, sorry I'll hear him. Now this is pink on pink. I'm gonna have to do some skipping around. I wonder if I should put like one of the little friends up here. Um, put him up there, why not? Which he's, he's down here too, but I'll put him up here. Because literally all I'm going to be doing is cleaning. Because um, I don't know. I mean, January is, or spring, I guess, is the time where you do a lot of cleaning. Um, but um, 
decide to kind of declutter right now because it's a good time uh, heading into Christmas where you get a bunch of new stuff. Um, let's see, do I want another one of these boxes there? I don't think so. I think I just want to put my little check checklist down. I do actually, at first I, I did not uh, see a use for these because like I say all the time, I write so big. Um, and I, this, I mean, this kind of went in there, um, but normally <laughs> I am writing in these planners and it just, I'm just like totally taking up the page. I feel like I should put something here. Maybe I should, hmm. I don't think anything's happening on Sunday. That's major. I wonder if I want to put some of these little cute ornaments down. I don't think so. I'm not feeling that. I'm kind of somehow keeping this minimal i'll put the flamingo there but i'm gonna put i'm gonna put her down like more down here and then i'll put another check mark or a checklist thing here i think that goes pretty well so then now i have all of these that i can use throughout the week um something that i do with these Let's see, this is kind of pinky. Over here, I just have a bunch of post-it notes. I'll just use this one. And what I've been doing is using this to track, um, track some things, but I use it more on the daily pages. Um, last week, I guess I was semi-successful with using this, but I use it a lot more than I normally do anyway. So it's kind of like a daily reminder of the things I need to do instead of having to write it over again then I can kind of um, you know take it from page to page you know do like that so that's what I use those for and then if I find other events and things like that happening which I know I have an event somewhere but I can't remember exactly where then I can easily pull these throughout the week if not I can use it on my daily pages and this is what I have left over. I've seen, I think, her use this under here. Um, I have to go back and watch some of her setup videos. Like this to do, I can easily use um, these over here as well to kind of mark off the to do's to kind of use it, you know? But for the most part, like the Sandy and Bright, which is hilarious. Um, all those little things, I can use it. I keep these numbers uh, because sometimes I can use this to cover up other dates and stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, from this kit. Um, and then in using this, I wonder if I wanna use, I really like this little flower, kind of use this down there as like a little decorative piece. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see all the little things, all the little elements for this whole entire um, sticker kit. And it's like five pages long. So I use this all throughout uh, the daily. Um, that's what I should do. I should probably do um, my dailies earlier so y'all can see it throughout the week um, versus I usually do daily pages on Wednesday. But pretty much y'all can kind of see like the overview of um, what's going on as the little setup, we kind of do half of it at the bottom and half of like the stuff on top. And then um, normally I don't use this, but I'm gonna use this for Plamas this week and kind of map out the things I wanna do. Um, and then cleaning, let me go ahead and write this in while I'm here, cause I'm gonna forget. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I don't know why I put that slash there, but whatever, and Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If y'all have some cool lunch ideas for kids for school, comment them down below because um, right now I'm kind of on a constant rotation. I'm trying to put in more vegetables in my daughter's lunch um, and in my diet. Um, so comment down below. Let me know how y'all are able to sneak in those veggies. Um, you know, I would do like purees and stuff when she was little and sneak in veggies, but now she can clearly see them and she's not a smoothie person unless it's like all fruit and really sweet. Uh, but, um, she will chomp down like, you know, green beans and, and broccoli and stuff, but I'm trying to see if I maybe cook the 
carrots or something and put it in her lunch. Maybe she'll eat it. So I'm going to try some new things. Maybe I'll report back to y'all because I know some moms uh, look at my videos as well. But this looks like this is going to be the ending of this weekly plan with me. Thank you so much for watching on Plan Mistake 4 and I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao!